All right, guys. Tottenham have just beaten Leeds United three goals to nil. Uh, the thing with Leeds at the moment is that they get all this praise whilst being like, I don't know where they are in the league, but they're about 12th. Like, they're not, they're not in the top half, but, but Marcelo Bielsa is some sort of master at managing football games. Well, I mean, he's not doing a bad job by any means, but like, it's, he's not performing miracles like some people are making out. He's the only manager I've ever seen be praised after losing 3-0 or 6-2 against Man United a few weeks ago. Anyway, the game started off with uh, a few few early chances for Leeds, Patrick Bamford specifically, headed one over the bar, which he sh definitely should have done better with, should at least have got it on target. Um, and then it, Ali, Alioski also had one where he hit it into the side netting. Uh, and then the first major... Uh, moments in the game happened when the ball came to Leeds goalkeeper Meslier, or Melier, I don't know how you say his name. Um, he sort of passed it out, tried to pass it out to Calvin Phillips, completely missed him, gave the ball away about just outside the box. And I think it was Ndombele who in, in, intercepted it. Uh, he played it through to Stephen Bergwijn. Bergwijn managed to get his body in between the man and the ball. It was Alioski who was trying to tackle him and it was virtually on the line that um, Alioski's knee has gone into uh, the back of uh, Bergwijn's thigh and um, the referee, it's debatable whether it was a penalty, it was, was it certainly wasn't a, uh, a massive error to give a penalty, it was 50-50 either way whether it was a penalty or a free kick. Anyway, Harry Kane scored four days after uh, the birth of his new child, Louis Harry Kane. Uh, and then a few, few minutes later, Stephen Bergwijn had a great chance. Uh, he, once again, he did really well to turn away from his man. And he had a free shot on goal, one-on-one -on -one from the keeper from just in front of the penalty spot. And he put it about 20 yards over the bar. It was a shocking finish, but a great turn nonetheless. And then Harry Kane picked up the ball again, just outside the box, but a bit more wide. Uh, and it was a really good cross. He played it behind the back line for Leeds. And Heng Min Son just had to direct it into the bottom corner. He didn't have the power, the power and pace was already on the cross. And that made it 2 0 at half time. Uh, I I think today Leeds were were especially poor. Like we've known all season that their defence is average at best in uh, in most games, and their their attack is usually very good because the amount of chances they create. Uh, today, both were just poor: the defence and the attack. And uh, five minutes into the second half, Toby Alderweireld uh, ha had a head free header from a corner at the front post. Me Meslier had a shocker today. Two he was at fault for two of the goals, at least. Um, he He's in the middle of the six-yard box. He's not on his line for corner. Now, I can understand that, why he'd be there if he's going to try and intercept the cor corner and stop the Tottenham player from heading it in. But what I don't understand is you can you can clearly tell where a cross is going about a second after it's left the corner taker's boot. And he didn't react quick enough. He didn't get back on his line in time. And Alderweireld's just headed it into the bottom corner. And he's got there and he sort of carries it into the back of the net with him. And he just it was just poor from him. And then... Nothing really happened for the rest of the second half, uh, for the remaining half an hour. It was just Tottenham just sitting back and count, trying to counter-attack. And there was nothing Leeds could do to score or reduce the deficit. Uh, but that, that was it until the 90th, 90th minute in stoppage time. 
uh, where Matt Doherty got sent off for a second yellow. It, it was a definite second yellow, not much to really say there. And I, whilst I have criticised Leeds a lot today, I do think Tottenham did play really well. Uh, they did what they needed to do. They just uh, sat back and went forwards for... They, they knew Leeds were going to reply pressure, so they just sat back and just relieved the pressure with balls from Harry Winks, Kane and Dombele to Son and Bergvine, who could just go on and in attack. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.